So we found this little nook area here where there's some birds landing by some dusty miller. And little by little they come over. There's some bread on the ground. And I think there are a few birds that want to come over and have some bread, but there's a bit of traffic going by. So what about Dusty Miller? Do you have Dusty Miller in your yard? See this little package here? There's like six plants in that. And you can buy that for, depending on where you buy it. If you buy it in a nursery, it'll be more expensive. But if you go somewhere else, like to a Kmart or something like that, they're a little bit cheaper. And you break these six plants up and put them all over your garden. Actually, we bought some Dusty Miller and planted it, and it survived through Hurricane Sandy. Yep, believe that or not? There are some little plants popping up in the garden that actually survived Hurricane Sandy. We'll show that to you some other time. So, what about the other non-care plants? Here's a plant that is a non-care plant. If you want to put something in your garden that is absolutely beautiful and yet you don't have to do a thing for it, put some azaleas. You can get them in pink, you can get them in purple. The beautiful ones are white. If you have a garden that's on the street or like where there's traffic, you can get the white ones. And plant the azaleas. What happens is they're green all year round. You know, in the midst of the snow and the frost, you're going to see these green leaves all over so it still looks alive. And then around Mother's Day, the plants will give you these beautiful flowers. So if you want plants that you don't care for, get the Dusty Miller and get the azaleas. That's a good one to start out with. So where are the birds today? Where are they? There they go. Ah, I see some bread. They're probably coming over here trying to get that bread. So back to the azaleas. The azaleas come in this like rosish color, or like a, a reddish. Not a bright red, but a pretty red. And they come in a purple color. And they come in white. Different variations. So go to your gardener. If you're looking for a plant that you don't have to care for. And over the years it will grow big. Now this plant here is not too big. And yet it's many, many years old. It's a minimum of 10, maybe 12, 15 years old. And it's still like under a foot and a half. And yet over years and years and years, you can have an azalea plant grow pretty high. It spreads out, it'll spread out through your whole garden. But it will take many years, so don't worry about it. So for your non-care garden, get yourself some azaleas and get yourself some Dusty Miller. Those are plants that you can plant once and be done with it. It's not like the plants that are bulbs. You know, some people say if you plant tulips, you have to plant them and then take them in for the winter and then put them out again for the summer. I don't know. We actually did an experiment and planted some tulips and left them out all winter. Yeah, <laughs> did that. And to our great surprise, what happened was the tulips grew. They grew and um, the second year, you know, it went through the winter, the flowers disappeared, and the second year we had tulip leaves. And then for the third year there were tulip leaves, but no tulips. And then surprisingly on the fourth year the tulips began to pop up and surprise us. We'd look out into the garden and see little tulips all over. So put your tulip bulbs out there and just leave them out there, don't bother to take them in. So in case you're wondering what you're watching, you're watching The Real Linda Show. And you can reach us at therealinda at jesusanswers.com. And you want us to come and film in your garden? That'd be so cool. Do you have birds or a garden where we can film? Would you like your prize winning garden on video? Or even your little garden that you're just beginning? Do you have maybe a vegetable garden? We'd love to put you on television. 
So, write to the real Linda at JesusAnswers.com and let us know all about your garden or about your, maybe your history of doing planting or maybe you're a 4-H'er or maybe you have your own farm. Yes, the green market is opening soon. The green market opens in June and it stays open all summer and the produce is absolutely awesome so we can't wait to see that. So if you're a member of the green market or you're going to be a member of the green market or the farmer's market, do contact us at therealinda at jesusanswers.com. Now go to your nurseries and get some azaleas and some Dusty Miller for that carefree garden.